Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. What we're looking at right here is our 39th case of 2016, last year's Bowman's Best Baseball full case break. We brought some of the past back to the present. Here are the people excited about it on a Friday night. Thanks for hanging out with me on a Friday night. There you go. On the 23rd, there's Andy with that last spot mojo, Royals, and there's everyone else. Good luck to everybody. And now that we filled up these two, uh, we had a 2015 random team break and a 2016 picker team break. Uh, in a separate video, I'm going to take both of those lists, randomize them, and the name on top will get this nice uh, Bowman hat that we got from the Topps Industry Conference in Phoenix last weekend. So big thanks to Topps for all the swag that they gave us. And all the fun times, too. It was great. Hope to be there again next year. All right. Good luck, boys and girls. All right. So there's four boxes up front, four boxes in the back. That makes eight. Slide these over. We do have one more case of 2016. Well, both, actually. We have one more case of 15 and 16, Bowman's Best. That's on jazbeeshobbyland.com right now, so if you want to run that back tonight, we certainly can. Um, I don't know if we have anything else filling up at the moment after this. So uh, once we're done with this break, we'll have to figure out what we're going to do. Maybe that mixer. We have a multi-sport mixer on the side that I'm sure we can kind of tackle today. All right. Good luck, everybody. So baseball season, it's not just pitchers and catchers reporting anymore. Everyone's in camp, except for some free agents. Everyone's in camp. And uh, some, uh, some baseball was played today, which was exciting. Hope springs eternal in the spring. Everyone is 0-0 on the regular season. Spring is where hope springs eternal, and you start thinking, oh, man. Everyone's gonna be a. Everyone's gonna make the opening day roster. Everyone's gonna be a star. Dodgers are going to one sixty two and zero, sweep their way through the playoffs. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but but it's exciting. That's the point. It's exciting to have baseball back in action. I've been trying to play the. Uh, Trying to do some casual research on on win totals. Trying to figure out uh, win totals. In fact, let me actually pull that list up. We'll just we'll discuss win totals with you during throughout this break. Let's see. Let's go. We're gonna use Bovada, which is what we're gonna use for. Uh, I know other uh, other books have other of other lines, but um, this is for entertainment purposes only, obviously, ladies and gentlemen. Just for, just for fun, just for funsies. All right, so we'll go in alphabetical order. I do think Brandon McKay will do well in pitching and hitting this season. I think he's definitely built for it. He definitely wants to do it. Uh, speaking of two-way players, we actually met, we actually met Hunter Green. Uh, at the top industry conference, and he is also a two-way player, but for the Reds, he was a number two pick in the 2017 draft. But I think I talked to him a little bit. Uh, he was a really nice dude. He's from he's from LA. He went to high school out here. Um, really nice dude. And he said that most likely the Reds would shift him over to uh, over to pitching, mostly because he his other position is he's a shortstop. So too much, too much strain on his body in the field to have them do both. Uh, both Brendan McKay and Shohei Otani are first basemen. That's what they. That's or outfielder or something less intensive. So if they wanted to be a two-way player, I think they'll have to move positions. But for now, I think they're going to lean him more towards pitching. There's Aaron Judge. 
And our first autograph, or there's out of 250, Orlando Arcia. And our first auto is Josh Lowe for the Rays. That'll go to Lee Regicidal with that one. Is Josh Lowe going to play some games now that now that Evan Longoria is not around? Maybe. Remember, this is 2016, so he's probably a little bit closer to the majors than we think. Is he still on the team? I would imagine he would be. We'll top load all of those before we send those out. There's Andy Pettit. Is that number? No, I thought it was. And behind Manny Machado is Drew Jackson. Drew Jackson for the Mariners. That goes to Lee. First two autos for Regicidal. Look at that. It's a good start. We also had uh, the crew pick which case. We only have two cases. So I said, and they were, they were set right next to each other. So I said left or right, first to three, that's the case I'll choose. Everyone picked left. So that, that way, if this case isn't good, it's not my fault. It won't be my fault. There's Bryce Harper. So inserts like this obviously will ship. It's just vet base that won't ship. All right, next auto is Luis Severino. Nice one for the Yankees. Daniel F. I think people, when this first came out, I feel like people were a little skeptical about Luis Severino, but he may be, at the moment, their number one starter, I think, for the Yankees. So he's doing pretty well. There's Ben Zobrist. These mirror image cards will randomize left and right per tradition. And, uh, yeah, I remember this. Matt Tice would always trick, would always fool me, Angels fans, Scott Smith, because I'll, I'd slide the card across, you know, and then I'd see like, oh, A, and then like an M, right? But then it's Matt Tice, not Mike Trout. Well, that's Mike Trout. So, Scott Smith and the Angels. Is it what kind of sorcery is that? Eleven out of twenty-five, Mike Trout. <laughs> there, there you go, Scott Smith. Yeah, Booney's like, you got to be kidding me. Get out of here. <laughs> Robert's like, oh, wow. Ian's like, perfect. What a call, says Andy. I did not plan that at all. I did not see it. Watch, the, Go back and watch the video. Did not plan that at all. <laughs> Even I was stunned. <laughs> well, Scott Smith is happy. What are the odds of that? All right, next box. What are the odds of that? Yeah, that's a hell of a hit. <laughs> I know, Lee's just like, man, I remember back when we were doing this 2016, Lee's just like, I was trying to chase that, that trout has a hundred Tice autos. Well, that's why he told the story. I was just like, all you do is see that guy and you never see Mike Trout and there he is in the same GD box, the same GD mini box of all things. I don't know. This Jaspie's Hobbyland, where magic happens. Should we do win totals now? Arizona Diamondbacks. Bovada has them at 85 and a half. More over or under 85 and a half? What does everyone think? Over or under. I 
I say over, but just by a little bit. So does Booney. Uh, Atlanta Braves, over 74 and a half. I actually think the Braves go over, too. Remember, um, the, the Marlins are terrible. The Marlins are gonna, probably will lose 100 games. So the Braves can be the beneficiary of that. I say the Braves go over 74 and a half. Uh, I'll, do, I'll do a couple more teams in the next box. Uh, let's, let's focus on this. We got Michael Conforto out of 250. Lee, what's going what's going on with uh, Michael Conforto? Rennish says under for the Braves, by the way. I mean, you got this guy doing well. You got this guy that's healthy. There's Julio Urias. That's good. Fifty one out of ninety nine. He should be back by the middle of the oh DC Don Don. I don't have to tell you this Don. Well, for everyone else, he should be back by midsummer. Who's gonna be back? Is Syndergaard gonna be back mid May? Conforto. I don't know. I don't know if the I don't know if the Mets are still. Do they still like Michael Conforto? Oh, Conforto's back in. I didn't. I didn't realize he was. I didn't realize he was injured. Actually, Syndergaard. Yeah, that's why. Okay, strike that and reverse it. Syndergaard healthy, ready to go. Conforto. Back in mid-May. Schwarber, as Lee told me in the previous break, lost all that baby fat. It's just he's all he's he's skinny now. Wait, was there only one auto in that? On this side. Come on, man. <laughs> I thought I had it flipped the right way. We got Forrest Whitley for the Strohs. J Mac, I think, was calling out for some Strohs. Yeah, I know, right, Lee? Regicidal's like, yeah, you got a trout in the last box? No second auto in this one. Be happy with what you got. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't help everyone else, though. There's Aaron Judge. There's Josh Hader. Don't be a hater. Josh Hader. That'll go to the Brew Crew. David Harrow. Big Boys 007. ML Patrick Goodwin saying MLB says that Royce Lewis and Brandon McKay will be the will be in the MVP race this season. The minor league MVP race? Probably. I think they're both in like double A, right? This season. All right, so three, but one's a Julio Urias, I guess. I feel bad for the collectors for Julio Urias because he was really, you know, the, the hype train was really increasing for Julio Urias and then he got injured. All right, next box. Good luck. Uh, Boston Red Sox, or no, Baltimore Orioles, over under 73 wins. I gotta say under, right? Baltimore Orioles, I say under 73 wins. Red Sox, over under 91 and a half. I feel like the Red Sox and the Yankees are really just gonna beat up on each other. I say I say over ninety one and a half. Cubs over under ninety four and a half. Booty and Rennish say say under for the what Orioles. Under says Booney for the Red Sox. What about Cubs? Yeah, under for both Sox. I say slightly over. I say they win like 93. Rennish says Cubs over. I say over on the Cubs, 94 and a half as well. But that team's just too good. And I think Darvish in the regular season will be will be fantastic as well. Chicago White Sox, who are the Southsiders? Over or under 68 wins? I say... I want to go through these a little more quickly so we can actually get to all of them. But I say... Uh, I say I say over 68. I can see over 68. Reds, 
over 73 and a half. That central is, I like the reds, but that central is tough. I say reds under 73 and a half. Cleveland Indians over 94 and a half. Over under 94 and a half. That's a good one. I say under for the Indians, but just barely. If I had to, I don't like choosing, actually. This is one I would just pass on, but. For the over under total. Just over just over because of the division they're in? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, Rennish says under. I think sp slightly though. All right, we'll go to the, we'll go through another handful of teams. In the next box. All right, Yankees. Aaron Judge. Mike Trout in one box. Aaron Judge in another box. We'll get to the Phillies in a second. We're going in alphabetical order, and the Royals for Ian. I've heard of this guy. Uh, Yankees. Aaron Judge, Daniel F. All rise. Yeah, this case is okay. I don't mind losing that one auto. Ahmed Rosario for the Mets. Does, does Lee have the Mets? No, Jared Rupp. I guess Lee probably has a number of these already in Regicidal's collection. So the two New York teams with that. There's Mr. Trout. There's Johnny Damon for the Royals. And Arietta 250. Arietta, not signed. Where does he go? Does he just rest? Does he say, I'll, I'll take it easy until the middle of the season? There's Aaron Judge again. And then we've got Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis for the Mariners. Lee with the Mariners. We'll get to, I'm sure a ton will be in here somewhere. We're going to have to start you off with Kyle Lewis, though. Atomic, Josh Lowe. We've got Alex Reyes to 250. And Franklin Barreto for the A's. Scott V with the A's. And another mirror image card right here. Comparing Tulo to Corey Seager. I like that. Bam. Not too shabby there. Got to pull these autos for the uh, for the Twitter at Jasby's Hobbyland is our Twitter, folks. So you'll, we'll, I'm sure I'll have that picture posted at some point. All right, next uh, next few teams for the uh, over unders: Colorado Rockies over 82 or over under 82. I say I think Rockies are actually going to be surprisingly good. I see they go over 82. Tigers over under 68 and a half. I say they go, I say they go under 68 and a half. Um, I say uh, Astros over 96 and a half. I don't think they're gonna go over 96 and a half. I think they'll win like 94 games. Astros under 96 and a half. Royals, they're, they're, whoever had one of the, was it Ian, I think, one of the Royals? Royals, 71 and a half is the win total, according to Bovada. Hey, Todd, what's going on, man? Yeah, I would love to do another Bowman Fest, either one, 15 or 16. Royals, 71 and a half, I say, I could see them going over. I could see them surprising some teams, maybe like get 74, 75 wins. Uh, Angels. Over 84 and a half. You say well under, Ian? I, I feel like that's the moment where where they'll do something, where they'll get like some hungry young players that come up to fill spots. 
they lost in free agency and then like you know and then win like 75 games um that's the vibe i'm getting from the royals angels over under 84 and a half I have a feel like I, I feel like Vegas is trying to bait you bait you into the over. Oh, but I say over. They they got to win like 89 90 games. Like the Rangers didn't really improve. The Astros are still there, but they got to be able to win like yeah, 87 to 90 games, finish second in that division behind the Astros. My Dodgers 104 games last year, over or under 96 and a half. Giants improved. I think the Padres are seeking good. I think the Rockies are good. Diamondbacks are good. I think the Diamondbacks really do get hurt by not re signing. Well, not that they really had too much of a choice. I mean, he's a free agent, but, but I think uh, Diamondbacks will still be good, though. But that's a lot to go from 104 wins and then say they're going to win 97 wins. Still relying on a lot, of, a lot of young players. And we have Ian Anderson for the Braves. Nice. That goes to Vince Wingate. But I, I say the Dodgers, yeah, will 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 fall just short of that. I think, have, I think the Dodgers will still win the division, but it's going to be a little tougher. I don't think they're going to go off on like that. What was that? They couldn't lose a game for like 17, for like a month and a half or something like that. Nice Ian Anderson. He was drafted pretty high. Doesn't say here, but maybe there'll be another card here that tells you second, third in that draft. There he is, Ton. You got Kyle Lewis. Now you have Ton. That goes to Lee Keller and the Mariners. It's regicidal. What's the starting rotation look like other than Ker Kershaw, Rich Hill, Alex Wood? Who's going to exclusively pitch out of the stretch now? Um, Kenta Maeda, hopefully a fully healthy uh, Hyunjin Ryu, the Korean pitcher. And Garrett Davila, 30 out of 50 for the Royals. That's last spot mojo for Andy Garner. Last spot, 80% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time and a parallel as well. There he is, Kershaw. I know, great orange auto. That's a def definitely a low risk, high reward sort of situation for Andy. You're welcome, Andy. See, scared money don't make money. There's Kyle Lewis, 91 out of 99, and Mike Clevenger, for the tribe, TJ with the Indians. This is also for Lee. 91 out of 99, and the last little bit here. Oh, I thought there was gonna be something else. <laughs> but we had all four already. All right, we're halfway there. Four boxes left, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three, four. So still a lot of autographs. Uh, autographs? Autographs left. 16 autographs left. All right, moving along. Uh, let's do... Uh, so this is according to Bovada, which is where I play, where I put pennies down on teams. Um, Marlins win total, 94. We're going in alphabetical order, by the way, folks. We'll get to everyone's teams. Uh, Marlins, 90, 64, not 94 and a half, 64 and a half. Marlins are going to be under 64, and they're going to lose 100 games pretty easily, I think. Marlins under 64 and a half. Brewers, this is interesting. Brewers, 84 and a half. I say over on the on, on the Brewers. I like what they did in the offseason. Uh, twins over under 82 and a half. Hmm. 
I wish if I feel better about over if the Twins got some some better starting pitching. Like if they sign like if they sign like Jake Arrieta, I feel a lot better about saying over for the Twins. Booty says over anyway. Mets Lee, I know Regicidal is a big Mets guy. Over on says on, on the Brewers says Lee. Lee, what about your Mets? Over under eighty one. I don't know. I feel like it was a it was a down year for the Mets last year, but uh, but like uncharacteristically down. Like it just kind of doesn't make sense. I feel like it's just kind of a, last year felt like an anomaly for the Mets. Weird injuries, things just didn't click. Vegas has him at or Bovada has him at eighty one. At <laughs> least says eighty one. The second we lose two guys to injuries, he'll take the under after that. But what if I had to lock it in now? Lee, are you confident that? How confident are you? Are they? Are there going to be guaranteed two guys get injured, or will they not? Or will they manage to get a healthy season in? All right, we'll start with the Yankees at, at the next box. All right, behind Rangers edition of you, Darvish is Rafael Devers for the Red Sox. That goes to Chris Parent. On the Giants now, Longo. It's kind of it's gonna be weird seeing him in a Giants uniform. Can the Mets stay healthy? Guys like him. There's Josh Donaldson to 50 and Gavin Lux. Nice. 67 out of 99 for the Dodgers. Nice uh big up and coming prospect for the Dodgers. The Dodgers' uh, second base issue still continue. They might slide him over to second base, give him a shot there, but he's still a couple years away. Uh, that goes to DC. What's going on with this guy? Is this guy still alive? David Wright? Is he still under contract? I think he is. Is he gonna play? Ozzy Albius for the Braves. I think he's got major back issues, doesn't he? Ozzy Albius for the uh, Braves. That'll be for Vince. So a couple of nice ones for Vince. We've got Zach Collins for the White Sox. Ed Ramos with the White Sox. That was a late pickup. And there are four autographs. Maybe another parallel. Negative, but some inserts there. All right. Next box. Good luck. All right. Let's start with the Yankees. They're over under 94 and a half. That's a pretty good line, I think. I, I like that, 94 and a half. I know public is gonna say over. But I like 94 and a half. I think over, by a little bit. But that's a, Red Sox are, are gonna play them tough. They'll beat up on each other. But I, yeah, I, I say over. Lee says under on them. I think that 94 and a half is like spot on though. I feel like they could get like 94. Like it'll that'll be a close one. Uh, Oakland A's over under 74 and a half. Kind of always underrated, but I always feel like the A's grind out wins. I, I'll say over for the A's at 74 and a half. Phillies, 75 and a half. over on the Phillies as well. I see I think they can win like 77 wins. Something like that. Pirates 73 over under 73. I say just under for the Pirates. I think the Pirates are a little uh are reeling a little bit. You say over for the Pirates? Ooh, Phillies to the 80s, huh? Red Lee's all over the over on the Phillies. Yeah, okay, I think so too. 
gonna say Pirates under 75 and uh, 73 that is Padres oh this is good Padres over under 69 and a half I say over on the Padres and the Padres are gonna surprise a lot of people I mean you know a lot a lot, lot of a lot of the young kids have to really click and get it together but they've got Hosmer at first Will Myers in the outfield it's pretty healthy pitching is a little shaky but I could see Padres over like 73, 74 wins or something like that. But I could I could see something happen there in San Diego. That's the that's the reason why they went after Hosmer because I th think people are thinking the Padres organization, by getting Hosmer, they're signaling that we think our team, young team, is closer than people think, than other people may think. Matt Manning for the Tigers, Jake Johnson. The pitching is definitely the issue. The starting pitching is definitely the issue. There's Mike Trout, 250. Lucas Giolito, I feel like he's kind of back. Kind of, kind of fell out of favor. His card value dropped significantly after the Nationals, but, but I feel like he's grinding his way back. So it may, it may be time to dust off those old Lucas Giolito autographs. Uh, Curtis Erickson with the Nationals edition of Lucas Giolito on the White Sox now. Next mini box. Upside down cards and upside down Jorge Mateo for the Yankees. That will be Daniel F. and the Bronx Bombers. Cal Quantrill for the Padres out of 250. And a redemption. Does anybody remember who the redemptions were? Did I accidentally show it? <laughs> Congratulations. You are due to receive a best of 2016 autograph. Refractor parallel of T O Todd? Tommy? Thomas? Oh, Tuki Toussaint? Tuki Toussaint. That's right, of course. I remember now. Braves with that one. That goes to Vince. There you go, Vince. Just a lot of them. That's all. Sign your cards, Tuki. Sign those cards. Uh, you still have some time to redeem those. All right. Two boxes to go. I got a lot of teams to go. Uh, Giants over eighty one and a half, over under eighty one and a half. I say over. Yeah, you're welcome, Vince. Uh, over, but I mean a lot of it has to do with a bunch of. Does old old man McCutcheon stay healthy? Does Longoria stay healthy? Madison Bumgarner post injury, missing a lot of the season last year because he decided to be a motorcycle racer. Um, Cueto, Samarja. I mean, if they're on their game, that's a that's a scary team. But are they going to be on their game? All of them at the same time? Booney says under. I say over a little bit. Maybe that's just because I'm scared of the Giants, biased a little bit. Uh, Mariners over under 81 and a half. I say under for the Mariners. Sorry, Mariners fans. I know we got a lot of Seattle representation here. 81 and a half under. Uh, Cardinals over under 85 and a half. I say under for the Cardinals. I mean, their big problem was not hitting home runs. I don't know if they addressed that issue. They got Ozuna. But that might be what gets them just under. Under 85 and a half for the Cardinals. Uh, Tampa Bay Rays, 77 and a half. Over, under. I say under on that. Uh, send Chris Archer to LA, please. Uh, Texas Rangers, 77 and a half. I say under. Blue Jays, 81. I say under. 
Nationals, 92 and a half. I say over. Uh, over for the Kabuti, saying over for the Cardinals. Uh, under for the next two. Under for the next ones. Uh, Reddish saying Giants over. Mariners over. Cardinals over. Toronto under. Lee says over for the Cardinals. Over for the Mariners. Under for the Giants. Blue Jays under. Over for the Nats, says Booney. Over for the Nats, says Lee. Jeff Ranch says Rays under. Rangers over. Nationals over. Why do you think... Rennish, uh, what, what's your what's your uh, what's your reasoning on Rangers over? Curious. They're at seventy seven and a half. All right, next auto, Garrett Davila, another one for Andy and the Royals. Last spot, Mojo man. And Brandon says his Nats are over. And. Francis Martis, 10 out of 35. Nice orange parallel for J-Mac and the Astros. Matt Manning for the Tigers, Jake Johnson. Or Johnston. Sorry, there's a T in there, Jake. Jake Johnston. Got to enunciate that properly. They lost this guy. They didn't replace this guy, Rangers. But they do have some young players coming up the ranks a little bit. Got an interesting combination of old guys, some young guys. Another redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? Almost dropped some cards there. There we go. Out of 250, Wilson Contreras. For the Cubs and Tim Anderson for the White Sox. That goes to Ed Ramos. You got the Zach Collins and the Tim Anderson. I see. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Jeff Ranch saying pitching staff he feels is underrated. And he thinks an offseason pickup will help the offense plus the division that they're in. This is the one per case atomic mirror image. We'll randomize that separately between those two teams. I think that, I mean, I guess Angels are, are going to improve. Mariners, that's going to be a tough, uh, yeah, Mariners aren't going to be very good. But the Angels are going to improve. Astros are going to be great. I guess A's maybe. Interesting. All right, I can see that. 77 and a half. What do you think? Like 78 wins? 70, 80 wins maybe? You are due to receive a best of 2016 autograph of... So no parallel or anything like that. Oh, Tuki Tucson again. There you go. Well, hey, you know who's happy? And I'm happy that he's happy. Vince Wingate's happy. Oh, you say 75? Oh, sorry. The win total for the Rangers is 77 and a half. So you're actually saying under. Maybe, sorry, if I accidentally said 75. Yeah, Tuki Dusan PC now. All right, so this will be randomized separately. Well, the under then says Jeff Ranch. Okay, that's what I thought because I, I was like, I felt like, felt like you were kind of, because that one seemed a little somewhat like a easier one to me, <laughs> and so, but I know you. I was like, Jeff Ranch got some sports knowledge. You know what I mean? You've been in the room many a time. He's he spit some good sports knowledge here. So why does he think Rangers over? <laughs> that's what, that's why I was curious. I was like, they, he he must have some inside information or something if he think if he's thinking over on those Rangers. That kind of jumped out at me. All right, okay, I get it now. Yeah, seventy-seven and a half for the Rangers under. All right. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Last box coming up. That was a good. Uh, that was a good over under. Uh, you know what? I'll add that to the video description too. I think people will be interested to hear what 
what our kind of quick, like rapid fire thoughts were. Uh, the, wow, I, Mike Trout autograph in here. Right, we've got a Mike Trout auto, we've got an Aaron Judge auto, and our rapid fire over under thoughts. This is the greatest video of all time. At least the greatest, the greatest 2016 Bowman's best video of all time. Yeah. In 2018. That's what I say. <laughs> the best 2016 Bowman's best video of all time in 2018. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Cal Quantrill for the Padres. That goes to Scott V and the Padres. It's Paul's kid, Paul Quantrill's kid. Any prediction on the World Series? That I do not have any predictions on. I'm afraid to predict. That just stresses me out. There's uh, Elias Diaz. Pirates, that goes to Shane. I'll tell you that favorites generally don't win the World Series. It's always someone random. Someone that's always like 10 to 1 or 15 to 1 or something like that. Goldschmidt Atomic. And the last mini box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Ooh, that's a special right there. There's Alex Kirilov. All right, folks. You remember how the uh, remember what the last team was? And I said I'd just buy it just for the Johnny Damon. Twenty-two out of thirty, Johnny Damon for last bought Mojo Andy Garner. Scared money don't make money. The Royals are just sitting there at eighteen ninety-nine, staring everybody in the face. This is Royals edition of Johnny Damon. I don't know if a lot of people remember Royals edition of Johnny Damon. What was it? Less than twenty bucks, Andy. And I said, "Hey, they've got they've got that Davila guy and Johnny Damon." And still, nobody believed me. Everyone was just like, "Eh, they're the Royals, Joe." Eh. It sounds like a waste of nineteen dollars to me, even with the even with the Bowman hat that you're giving away. Seems like a waste of money to me. Not Andy. Not Andy Garner. Andy said, "You know what? All right, Joe, I'll play your game, you rogue." I can drop 19. I've got $19 burning a hole in my pocket. I'll give it a shot. Well, folks, scared money don't make money, ladies and gentlemen. And I think whether it's big or small, it's still scared money don't make money, right? Whether it's $19 or $1,900. Right there. Nice break, Andy. Good for you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. All right. The hat randomizer will be in a separate video. These two will be randomized right now. Uh, as for as for the World Series, I don't know. Maybe we'll talk about that in another break. But do I have any sleepers on that? I don't find any sleepers. On. Odds to win the World Series: Dodgers are five to one, plus five hundred. Yankees are plus five fifty. Astros are plus five fifty. Sleepers, I usually I would put them around, especially if you want value. If you're playing for entertainment, if you're putting a couple pennies on it, you got to go for value. Like like. 20 to 1 or something like that. Giants, plus 2,000. You know, that's interesting. Car uh, Diamondbacks, plus 2,500. They've got a... If Zach Granke's on, if Robbie Ray is dealing, that's kind of a scary... That's kind of a uh, kind of a scary team if they're on fire. You know, Brewers could make noise. If they add, add like a frontline pitcher, plus 33... Uh, 3,300. 3, 33 to 1, basically. Those are some interesting teams out there. Those could be your sleepers. Right there, twins. If they add a uh, twins, if they add a frontline pitcher, that could be interesting too. So those are some of the teams. All right, deep sleepers, deep sleepers. All right, so let's go back right here, left, right on those mirrors. Right. I mean, listen, it's probably not going to happen. But if you were, but Jeff, you asked for sleep. Those are my sleeper picks. Jeff likes them. It's like I like those picks. It's not not I'm not not saying it's gonna happen. Obviously, it's they're long shots for a reason. But if those are my sleeper picks among that kind of group of of uh, of teams, 
All right, let's roll the dice. Five and a five, ten the hard way. Left, right first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Left side will get him. Right here, left side. Left side on these. On this, it's a one per case, so we randomize that separately. Tigers and Rockies, Verlander and Riley Pint, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Tigers on top, Tiger uppercut. That goes to Jake Johnston with the Justin Verlander mirror image. This is a, the atomic is a one per case. There you have it, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We have another 2016 case, one more in the store right now on that website. And we have old 2015. Those are random team breaks. Check it out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.